Well, gang, here we are. It's been four days, three days, since the pH crisis started, as you'll notice. Sorry, not really getting anywhere. However, I did remove all the cinder blocks. And that right there, that crusty stuff you see right there, that's lime. Lime will make your pH skyrocket. There is not a single cinder block in there anymore. And I built my crates up and put some natural rock on top of the crate there. As you see, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't look as nice as it did, but it's also not killing my fish. So, just another idea for next spring on how to improve that. So, running my pH reducer right now. Hopefully we get somewhere. Hopefully tomorrow morning when I come out here, it's a little lower when I get home from work tomorrow. Hopefully we're not above nine. Well, hey guys, uh, the first part of the video, I was out at the pond and uh, I want to explain to you quick why I had cinder blocks in my pond in the first place. When I first started, uh, the pH, I could not get the pH to stay above seven. So I knew adding cinder blocks, because they have lime in them, would help bring that pH up. And it did. And I held 7.2 to 7.8 for four or five months. Pretty, pretty solid. So when I all of a sudden seen the spike, tested my source water. My source water, as I told you in the other video, was higher than it originally was. I really didn't, I guess for lack of a better term, focus on my cinder blocks. I totally forgot about them for the most part, even though they're in there. So today when I went to get them out, as you've seen in the video, a couple of them were just covered in lime. That's that gritty gray tan colored gunk. Uh, it's really gritty, but it almost looks slimy, but it's not. And some of the bricks, like four of the bricks were literally fused together. So that's how much lime, lime sorry, was being produced. It was actually starting to fuse the blocks together. Got them apart, got them out of the pond, uh, started doing my pH reducer. It's supposed to be safe. It's only supposed to drop at 0.2 per day, which is the limit that you want to do is 0.2 per day. So far, the, the level hasn't gone back above eight, or sorry, sorry, nine since I did it. Uh, got done probably an hour and a half ago. And typically it's still above nine at this time. And this morning when I checked it, it was above nine. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we got it figured out. Um, my Gormo last night and this morning were sh was showing some pretty heavy signs of stress. He was getting redding of the fins, getting kind of lethargic, separating from the school, kind of off in his own little world, doing his own thing. So... I knew I had to take action. All the other fish have been fine. They're not really showing any signs of, you know, stress from high pH, but he was. And, well, to be honest, I don't know if it's a he or she. So that's why I knew I had to do something. And then it occurred to me, I gotta get those cinder blocks out because them raise the pH. And I'm having a high pH because of my source water. So all the cinder blocks are gonna do is keep it higher. It's almost like it's gonna buffer it higher. So, they're out of there. Moral of the story, they're out of there. Um, as you've seen in the part of the video, that lime is it, all over the blocks. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, like I said, fingers crossed, we got it figured out. I'm going to go check it here in an hour or so again, and then check it in the morning. And we'll see if we're getting somewhere. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update, tell you where we're at with it. 
hopefully this fixes it it's really starting to wear me out <laughs> uh, and I'll do another video this weekend when I do my cleaning uh, just to do another update after you know a couple more days of treating it trying to get that pH down uh, see if that you know cinder blocks being out help keeping it down so other than that that's all I got on this video uh, thanks for watching guys and as always Keep on investing, keep on improving, and we'll see you guys on the next video. We'll talk to you later.